Boys and girls, I wonder what Cubby Bear has been up to today. Let's see if he will come back and talk with us. Ready? On the count of three, say hi, Cubby. Ready? One, two, three, Cubby! Hi, Cubby. Cubby, are you okay? Oh, hi. Cubby, are you looking for something? Can we help? Yeah, I'm looking for my family. Can the boys and girls help me look for them? Well, why don't you tell us a little more about your family so that we will know who we are looking for? What's that you're holding, Cubby Bear? This is a picture of what I think my family will look like. They will have brown fur just like mine. They will have black eyes just like me. I'm sure they will love apples just like I do. Boys and girls, do you see any of Cubby Bear's family in our room today? I'm sorry, Cubby. We don't see them anywhere around here. That's okay. Timothy and I looked for my family all over the farm today. We found other animals that looked a little like me. Kitty has brown fur, but she has pointy ears and whiskers. She said she isn't part of my family. She's right. Cats are different from bears. Were there any other animals on the farm? Well, I talked with Mr. Chuck, the woodchuck. He has brown fur and black eyes, and he even likes apples. But his family lives in holes on the farm, and I live in my favorite apple tree. Hmm. You know what, Cubby Bear? These boys and girls don't have brown, fuzzy fur like you, and they don't have shiny black eyes like yours. But these boys and girls do have blue vests just like you. They sure do. Even though we are not part of your family, we still love you, Cubby Bear. Boys and girls, let's count to three together and say, We love you, Cubby. Ready? One, two, three. We love you, Cubby. <laughs> ah, thanks, everybody. I'm so glad I have good friends like you. Since I don't see my family anywhere in here, I think I'll go check the barn before I go to bed. I'll see you next week. Bye, Cubby. Cubby has been looking all over for his family. I hope he finds them soon. I wonder who is in his family. Do you think he has a mom and a dad? What about a brother and a sister? Where do you think his family lives? Cubbies, I have a family. God gave me my family and they are special to me. I have a husband and three kids. Cubbies, God gave each of you a family too. Families have different people in them. Some of you may live with a mommy and a daddy, just a mommy or just a daddy. Some boys and girls may live with their grandmas and grandpas. Other boys and girls live with special grown-ups who take care of them. You may have only one brother or sister, or you may have lots of brothers and sisters, or none at all. Remember, God is creator. God is creator. He made all people and he made all families. God knew exactly who he wanted to be part of your family. And he chose to give you a special family who loves you and takes care of you. Did you know that God has a special job for each person in the family? Let's look at some pictures of different families and learn more about what God wants each person in the family to do. This family unit includes a mom and two children. God wants parents to love and take good care of their children. This mommy is obeying God by praying with her little girls and giving them food to eat, good food to eat. There are lots of ways that your parents take good care of you. Can you help me think of ways that your parents take care of you? It's good for families to do fun things together. Your parents take care of you by bringing you to many fun places. Have any of you gone somewhere fun with your family this week?
This family includes a father and two children. God also wants parents to teach their children about God. The dad in this picture is reading the Bible to his children. Maybe your mom and dad read to you from the Bible or from your cubby's handbook. Your parents are obeying God when they teach you all about him. How are these parents teaching their little girl about God? That's right. Whenever your mom or dad brings you to church or to Awana, they are helping you learn more about God. If your parents don't take you to church or cubbies, you can ask them to take you sometime. God wants moms and dads to love their children and take care of them and teach them about God. That is the parent's job in their family. But parents aren't the only ones with special jobs. You have two special jobs in your family. Our Bible verse tells you one thing you are to do. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. This is found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. I'll say it again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. We obey our parents when we quickly and happily do whatever they ask us to do. The little boy in this picture is obeying his mother quickly and happily. Can you think of some things that your mom or dad might ask you to do? Do they ask you to pick up your toys, help set the table, help do the laundry? Obey quickly and happily. The other special job that God wants boys and girls to do is to be kind to their brothers and sisters. This is based on Ephesians 4.32. How many of you have a brother or sister? Is this boy being kind to his sister? Is his sister being kind? The sister stole her brother's toy and the brother pulled her hair. Sometimes it's hard to love and be kind to our brothers and sisters, especially if they do something to hurt us. But in the Bible, God says, be kind to others. God is happy when we choose to be kind and to forgive our brothers or sisters if they do something bad to us. And to forgive means to stop being mad and not be mean back. How are the brother and sisters being kind to each other now? The sister gave the toy back and the brother stopped pulling her hair and they forgave each other and hugged. Cubbies, when we choose to obey our parents and to be kind to our brothers and sisters, we are doing what God wants us to do and our family will probably be much happier too. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for our family and help each one of us to be kind and to obey happily and quickly. And we ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.